Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Roblox Studio and how to use Roblox Studio in 2023. So you want to go ahead and download Roblox Studio. There'll be a link to it in the description below. Hopefully you can go ahead and download it. But it's going to be like the creator hub, which is on the Roblox website. And it's going to give you the option to download the Roblox Studio application. It's actually really easy to learn and do. I've been using this for years and I learned at a pretty early age, like around when I was like 11 years old or so. But anyways, you want to go ahead in here and you can see there's templates in the new section. You can choose templates or anything to pick from, which can be themes and gameplays. Or you can also go to my games for really you to your games group games which is anything you can edit in a group and also shared with me which is games that are shared through team create with other friends and all that stuff okay so those are three different sections of the my games basically uh group games your games or team create games you can also go to recent games that you're working on as well down below that then archives games you're archived or deleted basically they're still there but anyways we're gonna go ahead and go to a normal base plate and from here you can see that we can just look around and the camera is pretty you know easy to learn and stuff you just move it around to do the with the mouse you do like the right click hold and drag and you can just move around the camera it's really easy to learn and it's kind of like moving your roblox character with the wasd keys which you pretty much use that to move forward and all that stuff so pretty basic to learn on the top right area inside the game you're going to see this which is basically like the part which you can show you which direction you're facing in left back front and it's actually super useful especially when you're building and stuff and getting deep into a project it's really easy to learn that all right so you can actually enter in a part in a toolbox within the insert area in the home section and also you can go ahead and move parts around with arrows so when it's arrows you know that you're moving parts around and all that stuff you can also do scale which will change the size the length and the width of any part and if it's like a group item like a group full of different items you can probably just change the size of it completely and last but not least you can use the rotate tool which will change the direction and just change the you know where it's coming from like the rotation of it so you can have it slanted you can just change how it's put basically in the game so it's pretty cool it's really useful tools for the parts so you pretty much know how to move it change the the size of it and rotate it and change its direction and select it so also you can also change the rotation settings which is the snap the grid in the model section you can change how you rotate it so you can rotate it more easily you can rotate it at a certain degree and all that and move it at a certain amount of studs but you can turn this off completely and move it to whatever you want now when it comes to inserting parts you can do different shapes like cylinder you can do the corner wedge and you can do a wedge as well in a sphere and a block so pretty much you can do different shapes for the parts which is really useful and just really you can customize it to whatever you want you do different parts like that which they a triangle too but they don't but you can get them in the toolbox actually but anyways you want to go ahead and anchor a part two which is in the edit section of the home which is also a really useful thing that you want to use in your game so anchoring a part will keep it in place when you're playing the game now in studio it's going to be moved no matter what but in game if it's unanchored to be moved now you want to go ahead and go to the view section and open up the explorer and properties this is going to be really useful make sure the toolbox is open as well and you can see they're right here on the right hand side the explorer and properties now i'm going to go ahead and go over the toolbox now in here you can go to the models which is normally what it's on you can pick models made by other people which is really useful to use and you know the toolboxes use quite a bit once you first start using Roblox studio you used to use it all the time but over time you learn to build and get better and you make your own stuff but you can find buildings and characters and stuff and then you can use skies and you can use different scripts and stuff you can get that from the toolbox as well but make sure you go out and always check the stuff as well to make sure you don't get anything that would have a virus in it okay but usually there's some items that are made by people that you know are pretty popular on the toolbox now you can go ahead and get decals audio and stuff too on the toolbox you can also go to your own models which is the inventory next to the toolbox where you normally go to you can also go to recent models and stuff that you currently have used in the past or just recently models audio and all that stuff as well you can also go to models you created yourself which will be in the other area too but it's pretty similar to inventory and all that stuff as well so yeah very basic stuff for the toolbox and some other things i didn't really mention but like there's other stuff besides models in there and also for the explorer it's going to hold everything that's in your game that you'll be able to see scripts and characters and all that stuff and you can see i have the dummy here which can be selected from the explorer or tab you can also this is a starter pack which will be the inventory of the players you can actually insert items and stuff into them so the players in games will have those items you can insert a bloxy cola you should go ahead and click to make sure to confirm that it's going to have a script you can go ahead and move this actually but you want to go ahead and make sure to check the handle and make sure there's no weld inside that item in the handle to make sure that it doesn't screw it up in game and you want to go ahead and move the item into the starter pack in there it's going to now have the bloxy cola for us when we play the game now so we're going to have an item in our inventory now i'm going to go ahead and show you the properties and what they do and how you can change the parts and stuff so you go to select the part and in the properties you're going to be able to see you can change the appearance assembly and all this crazy stuff of the part which is really cool when you click on brick color you can actually change the color of the part to whatever you want whatever you're liking and you can just really there's a big selection of colors you can actually choose more if you want to and also you can change the material of it as well smooth plastic i'm going to change it to what you know there's quite a bit different materials you can choose you can also change the transparency zero is going to be completely untransparent and then one's going to be fully transparent you can see it's somewhat transparent 
there and you can actually see through it so the transparency is pretty much you know to see through to make it more clear they look through like glass almost and then you can just change another one but yeah it's really easy to use and really easy to learn and also in the view section you can find the terrain editor which is going to be in the far right area of selecting items so you can go ahead and just click on that it's going to open it and be where the toolbox is you can actually generate a bunch of land it's kind of like minecraft making a minecraft world if you think about it which is really fun to do you can change the size of how much terrain is going to be put in and generated you can change the width the height and the length of how big the land is going to be and the position and where it's going to be in your world and all that and it's really tricky to use and i go more into detail on how to use terrain editor and add terrain to your games you want to go ahead and watch that video there'll be a link in the description below and a card to it so you can go on and learn how to do more of the terrain but i don't go over it that much in the video but you can just generate it i generated it a few times just to get it right because sometimes you don't always get it right but regenerating it was just get rid of the old land and replace it with the new generation of land which i just kind of experimented it for a little bit and all that stuff just played around with the terrain but it really helps make your games and stuff and it just looks really great it is, it is a little bit harder to place items though in the terrain because it's not going to be so flat and everything but so the terrain is really awesome to do and just you can explore and stuff and adds really an environment to your games really easily now for the play you have three different options run it's going to run the game without you being in it you can do play here to play in a certain location or you get this press play which is going to spawn you in a normal area where you normally play when you join the game now i'm going to display the game for a little bit you can see i can walk around and it's basically just the basic controls of what it would be when you play a normal roblox game you can see you have the blocks you call it like i mentioned earlier we added it to our inventory and it's pretty easy to learn and pretty easy to do stuff and before you know it in no time you'll be a great roblox developer and if, once you're done playing the game you go ahead and just press the stop button which will appear where the play button is now in the top left area you're going to be able to save games and stuff you have the option to save the game to files as well so you can save it onto your computer and the files is backup stuff but also you can go ahead and just publish the game as well so you can select my games groups or team create games you can save right over them if you want to you can also create a new game in the bottom left area which normally you guys would if you're starting to make games on roblox studio and this is an easy way to make a game just right in roblox studio you can go ahead and click team create if you want which you can add friends and stuff which i also made a video on that as well if you want to go ahead and watch that now you're going to see two different options which is saving the roblox game which was to save it so next time you go on roblox studio and play the game it'll just be its current version also you can publish the game which will publish and make the new updates to the game public for everyone to play in the roblox and all that so it's pretty much the basics to roblox studio if you have any questions just comment them below if you really did find this helpful make sure you go to and subscribe to the channel it helps you out a ton it really does support me and until next time make sure you go to watch some of my other videos